Hi, everybody. We're back with uh, Module 3, Lesson 14. We're in your Succeed book. This is page 135, and it's the Homework Helper. We're just going to go over this a little bit before we dive in. Um, some of it is a little tricky. We have to really think hard, okay? So if we have the number 18, and we want to put it into unit form. We know there are no hundreds in that number. There are, there's one ten, there are eight ones. But if they want us to tell just in ones how many there are, in one, we need to change ten to ones. We know how much one ten is, it's ten ones. So if we have ten and eight, we have eighteen. So if they're asking us to put these two into one group, it's pretty much going to be those two numbers. Let's look at another one. Here we have 315. That's going to be three hundredths, one ten, and five ones. They want us to say it just with hundreds and ones. Take that ten out. In order to take that 10 out, we need to change it into ones. And so again, we have the one and the five together, 15. Down here, it's the hundreds we're taking out. So the number is 419. That's four hundreds, one ten, nine ones. Here, they're asking us to do ones and tens and take out the hundreds. Well, for each one of these four, it's 10 tens. So it's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, and one, 41. But then if you look, that's just those two numbers put together. It makes it a two-digit number instead of one-digit numbers. All right, let's look at our numbers and see if we can make sense of this. 16 has how many tens and how many ones? One ten six ones. Great. If we want to just make it ones, what we're doing is going backwards. We get to 10 ones, we change it in for a 10, but we could change it back. We could make that 10 ones stay 10 ones and add six more ones. In which case you would have 16 ones. Let me show you what I mean. That's not quite 10 yet, I don't think. All right, so I'm going to count 16. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once I get ten in the ones place, I can trade that out for a ten. I'm going to keep counting eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. So this is 16. I have one 10 and I have six ones. But if I only want ones, if I don't want to know about tens, I can trade this 10 for these 10 ones. So now I'm going to have. 16 all in this one place. So we have 16 ones instead of 110 
and six ones. And we're going to do that for both ones and tens on this page. We have 217 in unit form, that is two hundreds, one ten, seven ones. They want us to get rid of the tens. So we're going to have to move it backwards. We're still going to have two hundreds, but now we've moved our 10 back over here. So we have 10 and seven in the ones place, which is 17. Now we're going to do it with the tens and the hundreds. Our number is 320. That is three hundreds, two tens, and zero ones. They want us to do it without the hundreds. So we're still going to have zero ones. But now for each of these hundreds, we're going to make it back into a group of tens. So we're going to have tens, ten tens, three times. So count by 10 with me. 10, 20, 30, 32. 32. But as you can see, we've really just put those two digits together in the tens place. 139. That's going to be 100 three tens and nine ones. What did they get rid of here? They want us to get rid of that hundred. All right, so our nines is gonna stay the same. Our hundreds and tens are gonna change. We need to take this 100 and turn it back into a group of 10 tens. So here we are gonna have 10 and three which is 13. And again, we just put those two digits together. 473, four hundreds, seven tens, three ones. What are we getting rid of? Oh, you can't see that. Here, we're going to get rid of the hundreds. So our ones are gonna stay the same our hundreds and tens are gonna change. For each of these hundreds, I'm gonna change it back to a group of 10. So this is four groups of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm gonna move that back over here, four groups of 10 and put 40 here, we have 47 tens, 47 tens. I know, strains the brain. We have 680. That is six hundreds. And how many tens? eight tens. We want to know how much this is going to be if we just made it tens. For each of these hundreds, that was a group of 10 that we switched over to make a hundred, right? So for each one of those, it's going to be 10 tens. So we are going to count by 10 six times. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We had 60 tens, and now there's eight tens, which is 68 tens. And again, you're really just taking those two numbers, and instead of putting them in separate places, you're putting it back into one place. 817, eight hundreds, oh, 
They didn't give us a place for tens. Eight hundreds, one ten, and seven ones. How many ones is that? Ten seven is 17. Now they're still gonna let us do ones, but now they wanna know how many, now they wanna know how many tens there are. Okay, so in this number, 817, how many are actually ones? Is it 17? The actual number of ones is seven. So I need to take this one 10 and figure out how many more tens I had. For each one of these hundreds, it was a group of 10 tens. So that is eight groups of 10, which is 80. So we have 80 and one more 10. 81 tens. And if you look at the first two digits of the number, it's as though we just squish the hundreds and tens together, or we squish the tens and ones together. Complicated, I know. We have two more to do, and then a different kind of problem. So here we go 921. That is nine hundreds. They didn't give us a place for tens. So, 21 ones. But now we need to put it in tens and ones. We're getting rid of the hundreds and they're letting us count the tens. So that two is gonna be back in the tens place. What digit is in the ones place? Just a one. There's really only one, one. We need to know how many tens are there? There are nine hundreds. That means we made 10 groups of 10 nine times. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. There were 90 tens and two tens. for 92 tens. And if you look at it, it's like we just smushed those two digits into one. Instead of making it hundreds and tens and ones like this, we, in the first place, we left the hundreds and then we just smushed 21 into the ones. In the last place, we got rid of the hundreds and we smushed it over here so that we had 92 tens and one one. It's kind of strange, but we're still working with the same digits or just changing what we're calling them. Is it nine hundreds and two tens or is it 92 tens? Is it 13 ones or is it one ten and three ones? We can call it either one, all right? We are going to practice skip counting backwards from 350 to 240. I'm going to get out my place value disks. We have 350 and the directions say skip count by 10 from 350 to 240. So we are going to go backwards, 350, 340, 330, 320, 310, 300. Now, in order for me to continue skip counting by tens, 
I need to be able to take some tens away. And I can't do that right now because there aren't any tens. I'm going to take one of these hundreds and I'm going to trade it in for ten tens. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. So I did have three hundred but they were all in the hundreds. Now I still have 300, but we have two hundreds in this column and we have 10 tens, which is another hundred over here. So this is still 300, but now I can continue counting backwards. 300, 390, sorry, 290, 280, 270, 260, 250, almost there, 240. We skip counted like this. 350, 340, 330, 320, 310, 300. Now at this place, this is when we had to switch out our place value disks so that we could continue counting backwards. So from 300, we went to 290, 280, 270, 260, 250, 240. And all we did was count back by tens but we couldn't do it with our place value disks until we switched out. So that switching out can happen when you're going up and when you're going back. Both ways we can switch. We can switch 10 ones for a 10. We can also switch a 10 for 10 ones. We can switch 10 tens and turn it into a hundred but we can also take that 100 and turn it back into 10 tens. Whichever way we need to, those numbers are the same and they are flexible. I know that was hard. Thank you for working so hard with me. I'll see you next time.